Hey, it's Dan here, and uh, what I'm going to do for you today, um, I'm really not sure what you'd call it. I've made it several times for my family. We enjoy it. It's kind of like a chicken fajita, but on the same token, I roll it up in a burrito um, tortilla and everything. But um, So let me get started on this. We'll figure out what to name it in the title, and if you guys have any suggestions on uh, what it should be named, if I didn't name it correctly, put it in the comments, and maybe I'll change the name on it. But this is just a little bit of olive oil going in here. I've got three pounds of chicken that I salted and peppered real well. Hopefully this is hot enough. Yeah, we're hearing some sizzle, so it's definitely hot enough. And what I'm cooking in today is my 12 inch Lodge Deep. Love this thing for big recipes. Some of the pieces of chicken I cut up smaller than others. It's not real uniform, but once these all get cooked up, we'll get to the next part of the recipe. So let me get these browned up and I'll be right back with you. All right, all the chicken's good and browned up and everything. So I got me a little bowl here. Just going to try to get this chicken into it real quick. Now, don't worry about the size of the chicken and everything because I am going to shred it, or not really shred it, but dice it up some. I don't want all that juice in this bowl, but I can deal with that when I go to shred it. But I'm going to take this out, and then as soon as I get all this out, I don't want the chicken grease in here for the next step, so I'm going to drain all this chicken grease out. So let me get this chicken out of here, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I got uh, all the chicken out of there. I got most of the grease out. I just kind of dumped it out, and then I put a, a paper towel over it and got as much as I could. Now, this is just canola oil I'm putting in right now because uh, I've got some green peppers and stuff I'm going to saute up. What I did is I just bought this uh, frozen stuff. It's the pepper and onion blend from the frozen section. Cut this open. Like I said, this is stuff you can take camping with you, you can do anywhere. It's real simple to do. I like to keep most of my recipes simple. And then I also, from the frozen section, have a bag of the sliced mushrooms. I'm going to put these in. And we'll get all this sauteing up. And I'm going to say it's going to take about five minutes to get these sauteed up the way I want them. So I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes once these get going good. All right, these are softening up real nicely. Everything's looking good. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got two cans of diced tomatoes. And this is just the regular diced tomatoes. I didn't get the uh, stuff of chili sauce or anything like that, but I'm putting it in with all the juices. I've got a can of uh, diced green chilies. Just add a little bit of flavor. I've got a can of corn that I just, uh, this is whole kernel corn that I drained all the liquid out of. I got a can of the red enchilada sauce.
and I got one package of taco seasoning. Yeah, if I can get it to tear open. Alright, we'll just put that taco seasoning right there on the top. Get everything mixed together real good. And then I'm going to put the lid on this once I get it mixed together. Alright, sorry about that. My uh, camera battery died. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to let this simmer down because right now it kind of looks like a soup. I promise you it will not at the end of this cook. But, uh, got everything in there. It's smelling great. We're just going to set this lid right on there. I'm going to turn it down to about a medium heat. And I'm probably going to let that simmer, I don't know, probably 10 minutes to let everything incorporate. And then my next ingredient that I throw in there will actually help uh, get a lot of the liquid out also. So I'll be right back with that. All right, let's take a look, see how this is done. Like I said, I didn't need it to reduce down a whole lot yet. That's why I left the lid on. All right, we got that at a good boil. So the next thing I'm going to put in is I've got this taco rice. This is a five and a half ounce uh, package of it. I'm just going to dump it in there. It has taco seasoning in it and everything else. And then I've got a four ounce package of just regular long grain white rice. And we're going to put that in there. Get everything stirred together real good. And then once this gets fully cooked, which will take between 7 and 10 minutes to get the rice cooked, I'll know what consistency I have, and then I'll know if I need to reduce it, or sometimes, depending upon how it works out, sometimes I actually have to add a little bit of water. Um, by looking at this right here, I'm going to say this is going to thicken up super nicely. So, I'm going to let this go. I'm putting the lid back on. I'll probably check it in seven minutes, so I'll see you guys here in roughly seven to ten minutes. Alright, this is cooked up to a real nice consistency. There's still just a little bit of liquid in there. That's pretty good. I'm going to throw this chicken back in here, get it all stirred around. I chopped this up in relatively bite-sized pieces. If you want yours shredded, you can shred it smaller. Now all I'm trying to do is incorporate all the flavor. I'm going to stir this in. And the reason I don't want very much liquids because I'm actually going to make a burrito out of this, like I said. Um, still haven't figured out a name for it. I cook it quite often. When you're cooking for your family, you don't have to figure out names. You just cook. But let me get this stirred all together. And then I'm going to let this on as low as heat as I can put it. Just kind of sit here for probably another five minutes so everything uh, gets the flavor infused all through it the chicken really can soak up some more of these juices and everything so I'll see y'all here in just a little bit all right this is looking perfect consistency now there's almost no juice left in here so this will go on a flour tortilla great uh, before I roll up the tortilla I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, Fiesta Blend cheese on this after I do it. So uh, this is how I do my, uh, I don't know, chicken and rice burrito. I guess that's what I'll call it. Um, if you guys like this recipe, please hit the like button, comment. Um, if you like my channel, I do a lot of cast iron cooking. I do Dutch oven cooking and everything. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you subscribe, you can also hit that little bell next to it, and that way you'll get notifications anytime I put a new video out. I try to put out one every Wednesday, if at all possible. 
Well, I'll be back here in just a few minutes with the taste test. All right, I got this all rolled up into a burrito. I put some of that cheese in there. Um, I'll apologize now for my burrito rolling skills. Uh, I'd never make it working at a Mexican restaurant, I promise you that. Unless you wanted tacos. Like I said, I've made this before. I enjoy it a lot. It is very good. Um, I don't know if you can see in there or not from that bite, but everything's so good. It's not real warm, but it has just enough on the back end. It makes it real good. Well, y'all have a blessed day, and thank you very much for watching my video.